Hi, this is Nico from Roland and many times when we do streamings or recordings, audio and video, they are not aligned. They have different times of latency and we need to apply a delay to resynchronize the audio together with the video. Today I'm going to show you a very simple trick to find out the number of milliseconds we need to apply in your video mixers to realign this audio and video together. For that, I will need the camera I'm going to be using, the microphone I'm going to be using, and a VR capture software. Okay? Today I'm going to show you how to do it with the VR1 HD, but this can be done with the VR4, VR50, V1 HD+, V8, any video mixer from Roland that has audio capabilities includes the delay function for the audio in order to realign if you find this problem. Okay, let's have a look. Now on the VR capture, I have to check that the video input is the VR1 HD for today and also the audio input is the VR1 HD. I can check the audio is arriving to the VR capture using the VU meters down here on the left part of the screen. Now I need to record a very quick noise, a very sudden noise. It can be a noise coming from a slate, which is the professional way to do it. But you don't need to have a slate, just doing a clap or something uh, very impact, an impact noise uh, will solve the problem. So I will just hit the record and, and stop the record. Now that we have the test clip imported in our video editing software, we can see very clearly where is the noise and we can see where the slate closes. Now we need to find out the time difference between this frame and this audio part. For that, the easiest way to do it is that we can trim the video to finalize where the slate closes here and make the video to start right where the audio part starts there. We can do it more precisely there. So now we have the noise and the closing slate. We just need to find out the time for this clip, which is telling me it's 0 0.2 seconds. Now that we already find out the time difference between the audio and the video, we can come to the VR1 HD and search in the menu for the audio output options. More precisely, we will need the USB stream audio output functions. Here we have three options level, mute, and delay. This is the one that we are going to apply now. And the time delay we need to apply is 0.2 in our case. This is the number we find out in the software. With this, we ensure that audio and video arrive at exactly the same time into the computer. You have seen a very simple way to find out the time difference between audio and video when we do streaming or recording productions in our computer. If you have any questions about this system, just put it on the comments and we will check it often and we will reply them as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.